So with this video, we're going to show you how to take one of your current email blasts and then turn it into a slider. So just go to uh, any of your current email blasts, uh, go to channelpartner.news slash uh, VEB, uh, vendor uh, eblast, and we're going to scroll down and uh, let's see, find something. Uh, we'll uh, pick Airspring. They always have some interesting blasts. We'll go ahead and click on one. And then here's one of their uh, e-blasts. All right, so now if you already have this as a single image, then uh, you can just uh, right-click it, save image as. And uh, I don't know if this is a single image or not, uh, but what we'll do is um, you can save it or... Uh, well, here, let's save it. Um, a, and see what it looks like. All right, so in case you don't have it already as a single uh, file, I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, Snagit. Uh, now, you can see this is the uh, internet uh, page that we post the uh, internet blast if people want to see it outside of their email inbox. Uh, so, what we'll do is I'm going to open up uh, uh, Snagit. It's a uh, software program by Camtasia. Uh, highly recommend it. It's pretty cheap, under 100 bucks. And what I'm going to do is um, you pick what you want it to um, to uh, capture, either capture and you know just do a small uh, part of it, or what you can do is do a, a scrolling a scrolling window. All right, and that's what we're going to do. We'll change this right here to a uh, scrolling window. And then we'll click on um, Capture. And then what it, what you can see down here is it'll uh, scroll all the way down. OK, so here yeah, that looks better. So we'll go ahead and all right, so here is your image. Um, okay, so now what we want to do is we want to get the best uh, 410 wide by 450 455 pixels tall. All right, and so if you look right here, the image is currently pretty big. All right, so if, but here, oh, here what we want to do is We want to get rid of this stuff. We just want to get the most important part that will be kind of eye-catching. And as catchy as these are, they're a little bit superfluous to the actual message. So we're going to move this all the way to just the important stuff and see how big that fi this file is. All right. And we can even... Okay, so it's, and they're not going to see this small print, so we'll go all the way up there. All right, so now we've got a image that's 694 by 849. Now what we're trying to get is the biggest, most awesomest image um, that'll fit 410. So 410 is your defining um, mark. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and 410 wide. So we'll put 410 right here, 410. All right, and that, but it's now it's too high. It's because we can only have it be uh, 455 high. So if we take this and do 455, then what you see is it's going to be a little bit short. All right, uh, but I mean, you can't really squeeze it out anymore here. So, I mean, we can actually, we could probably, here, we're going to cancel that. We're going to squeeze out a little bit more here because this, because they'll see the, the fine print. All right, so that's pretty good. I mean, I, you get rid of the logo, but, you know, we don't want to do that because the logo is kind of important. Uh, could move this over to the right, move the logo down. Uh, that would be one way to do it. But let's see what we've got. So let's, uh, one more time, 410. Uh, see, we're still a little bit too big here. So we'll change this to be 455. 
54, 55. Okay, so we could have had a little bit wider, but you know that's kind of how it goes here. So that's why when you're designing your artwork, you want to design to 410 by 455, so you can get the maximum out of that space, not waste any. So I'm going to click Apply, and then File, Save As, and we'll call this Air Spring One. Okay. Now uh, this has to be. Um, uh, now we have to add 380 pixels to either side, all right? Because it has to be 1,000. Uh, was it 56? No, 1,026. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the edit, and I'm going to do image and canvas, and then I'm going to just change this to uh, 10. 26 and then what it does is it just adds it's going to add uh, 308 to the other side okay so now this is invisible now I, I can add other stuff here if I had other stuff to add but I don't have anything else to add I mean you could add blue or some add some color here we'll do color you know, here's white, or we can, how do we find more colors here? Oh, here we go. We'll add uh, this color here. All right. Or you can add more content that's kind of secondary over here. But whatever you do, you just got to get to uh, this size. So we're going to go click on File. File, save as, here's spring 1A, okay. Now the other thing that we do need is we need the, uh, this goes to a blog post. Unfortunately, it can't go to a uh, URL. So what I'm going to do is I have to go back and make this an actual blog post, all right. So what I, I may do is I will go back and I will make a second scan. Okay, now I'll just get this whole thing. Do, 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 do. So I'll go ahead and click on capture. I'm going to capture the whole thing again. Now this is going to be for the uh, a blog post. So the blog post can be um, any length up and down, all right. And um, actually, and then about 650 pixels wide. So we'll see how wide this actually is. Take that there. Here. Oops, pull that down, and then you can see it is uh, 696, and I think that'll actually fit. So what I'm going to do is, and we can either get rid of this or leave it in. We'll go ahead and leave it in. So click on um, File, Save As, and we'll call this AirSpring 1B save all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, create the blog page right where is it here okay and we'll save this what i was working on and go to okay the blog i'm going to click posts and sub pages a new post. All right, and um, the headline is generally going to be whatever it was on the email blast. Resolved earn big in 2017 with AirSpring. Okay, take that copy, and then we're going to put that as their headline. Paste. Okay. Great blog post. 
Okay, now we're going to upload that second file. Right here. Open. I'm going to copy the link. Copy link. Oops, wait, right here. All right, and then we're going to go into content, and then we're going to insert, paste. Now, the blog will generally take, I think, 650 up to 700. You don't uh, want to go past that, or it'll kind of scroll. So, uh, because I know it's 690 pixels, I'm just going to leave a blank. Uh, and see what happens. Otherwise, if I want to limit it to uh, 650 pixels, I'd put 650, no, 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 right here. I would just put uh, like 650 right here and leave that blank. So I'm going to uh, not do anything, leave it as it is. And then save. All right, now here it is. Now what you want to do is go back to find the hyperlink, whatever is the call to action. Okay, it looks like there wasn't a hyperlink on this. So what we'll do is we'll just have it to go to airspring.com. Alrighty. So click on the image. www.airspring.com ring.com new window insert all right and then at the bottom for more information visit air spring Website. Uh, I can put a hyperlink in or just HTTP colon .com. and we'll oops we'll check it copy always double check your Yep, look, there it is. Let's see if we can find a um, become a partner. There we go. So, copy that. Go back here. Hyperlink partner. Okay, insert. All right. Uh, there you go. So now that's all done. Here we'll make that bigger. Bold size. size big. There we go. All right. Save. And then we're going to publish. Okay, now the most important thing here is what we call the slug, because this is where we're going to uh, send people control copy. So now we're going to do the uh, slider. So we will go to the uh, blog page, and then we will do post some blogs. Wait, blog, 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 where is my slider? Oh, here we go. Settings. Content featured sliders. Okay, so I'm going to do a new featured content. Okay, I'll do, call this Air Spring All 
Okay, call to action. Uh, we don't want to fill that out because that will put it over the image. And then here's the page to feature. Okay, that we just did. And then the choose the file. Oop. Choose file. And we called that AirSpring 1A. Open. And then save. And then we can now go to uh, the main page. No, sure it worked. Ta da! Channelpartner.news. And here are our sliders. Okay. Fusion. Granite. And Airspring be awesome. Click on it. And it goes to the uh, blog post that we set up. All right, and there's the whole thing. All right, more information. Click here or click here, go to Airspring. And that's how you do it. Okay, and then the important thing is, as we said before, is you have to make sure that uh, the slider Uh, is a balanced oops. all right because what's going to happen is this shows up in the um, um, this shows up great on the PC but when you look at it in the phone only this part shows up so that's why we uh, made it the way it did and then when you see this on the phone if you like that you click on it you go to the same blog page